no one should be shamed by their governor or their president you know, into thinking that they are a burden on the society because they want a little extra food. Now, I, I have to point out something to you all. As your congresswoman, I'm a member of the Financial Services Committee. And under our jurisdiction, uh, under the Financial Services uh, uh, jurisdiction, we have jurisdiction over public housing, uh, and we also have have some nexus with commodities. And I, I share that with you to let you know that food prices have gone sky high. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. I can give you a big lecture about what the trade policies are, uh, but I just want you to know that food costs a whole lot more than it did back in the day. Yes. Uh, Miss Shirley, when you were raising your family. Uh, and so, if you think that the increase of $30, $40 a month doesn't make a difference, you got another thing coming. And, you know, I, it you know, breaks my heart to hear Miss Shirley talk about not being able to buy quality foods. You could just forget about fresh yeah, fruits and vegetables. Right. Uh, when, when you're being robbed, of the food subsidy. Now, uh, Sherry didn't go in through a, a, a whole lot of detail, but just let me cut right to the core. Scott Walker is wrong, y'all. Yes, 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 yes. He is wrong. You know, people who live in public housing who are required to pay $8.75 a month so that they can cool off and have yeah. air conditioning, that ought to be counted towards your utility allowance. Right. Yes. Right. And 875 a month is not just 875 a month. That amounts to yeah. an extra what? Maybe 40, 50 dollars a month right. Right. in food share. Right. I mean that's right. real, money real money that people are and real food. I mean that's some grapes and some milk Mr. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss uh, Shirley, that, that, that's real food and real money. And this state has failed to um, engage, uh, which just tends to show you what they think of our elderly. Yes, you know, every society, true. every community is defined by how they treat babies and children, the disabled, the weak, the vulnerable, and by their seniors. And so this is this is not a good report card uh, for this administration. Uh, people should not be forced to choose between paying the utility bills. People should not be cutting medicine in half, Miss Shirley. That's just not healthy. And your doctors would have a fit if they heard your testimony this morning. Um, the, the, there are tens. There's not just two or three people. Not just you, Miss Shirley. Um, but there are tens of thousands of people that legal action has identified who are in this same uh, situation, a loss of their, their food share benefits. Now, you know, we're not just criticizing the governor. There's actually stuff he can do. Stuff he can do that will cost the state of Wisconsin. How much you think it will cost the state of Wisconsin to do something about this problem? Not much. Not much. Nothing. Zero. What? Zero. So that's what you just call being playing on ornery. Right. When it doesn't cost you anything. I remember my sister Yvonne. You know, you beg for some of her soda. She poured the rest of it down the sink <laughs> to keep from giving it to you. This is what this reminds me of. Right. It costs zero food stamp. Am I wrong about this, Sherry? 100% federally funded. 100% wow. federally funded. It's just ornery. Yeah. And, and, and sending a message to residents who are, are not rich, mm -hmm. who are elderly, uh, that you really don't make a difference. Yeah. You know, yeah. what the, it is very easy to do, and the administrative law judges have found the administration uh, at risk, and it, it, it's, a, it's a quick fix. Uh, we're simply asking the state to comply with this responsibilities under federal law 
to help provide the seniors and persons with disabilities with the food share benefits that they deserve. They don't have to delay this. They, don't, they can do this now. The state is wrong. They could take action now to, number one, identify all of those people who've been denied benefits and make sure for the going forward that they get benefits, to identify all those who've been denied benefits and pay them retroactively. Right. Now, we're going to thank uh, 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 the Hunger Task Force, Sherry, Pat D'Alessio, Legal Action, because they, in the course of their everyday experience uh, working with seniors, have already started the process of identifying all those people who are affected. Thank you for helping Scott out. Scott, thank you very much. Um, and let me just promise you, as your, uh, your member of Congress, should I be so fortunate to be able to be a member of the 116th uh, Congress, that I will fight yeah. to make sure that there continues to be a food share benefit. Because as we have provided $1.4 trillion in tax benefits to the wealthiest people in this country, to the wealthiest corporations, we're not going to leave seniors behind. We're not going to let them balance the budget on the backs of your table. I'm going to be at that table. You're going to be at the table eating, because you know what they say. If you're not at the table, you on the menu. Right. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that I'm going to disabuse people in Washington, D.C. Right. of the notion that they can just take food off your table in order to pay the bills of the very wealthy. Right. You know, thank you so much, uh, Sherry, for convening us. Thank all of you for coming today, and we're going to make sure that you have the kind of dignity that is required right. of us as members of your community, uh, that is required. And I am a senior. I'm 67. Okay. And let me tell you, I need my food. <laughs> <laughs>